there's one chapter in particular where you talked about the future of energy and as uh, how technology is going to <laughs> uh, how technology is going to impact the way we interact with energy. And we talk, you spent a lot of time talking about the technology around solar and how it's not yet there, but you actually very excellently pointed out the way technology has already deflated the energy cost of solar. Um, throughout our conversation, it almost feels like what we're bearing witness to in, in that scope of things is the current iteration of solar technology, to, to use an analogy, is when Netflix was mailing DVDs to everyone. And they haven't figured out that next iteration. The technology has not quite caught up yet, but eventually, if and when it does, it will be so disruptive that our current systems in place should, in theory, shift accordingly. Um, do yeah, you feel me, the same way? So one of the things, if I said I could have changed something in that uh, uh, book, it, 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 not that anything was that it, I had was wrong with solar and there's still lots of stuff happening with solar as well but i wish i had explored nuclear and, and other for, uh, uh, forms of energy in this broadly what i was talking about is technology is in everything and you can't see it until you um uh in, until it's there providing value and so even even in that what you'd say today energy price is going through the roof um and and so people are people believe that those energy prices are going through the roof because uh, of scarce uh, scarce resources but that's actually not true what's where they're going through the roof is because of manipulated money because we've had more and more we we have fracking we have uh, we we have more energy at lower prices today and, and more and more technology integrating into energy uh, all the time and so from a system design what that means is unless you let that abundance flow to, to society, you have to create more and more money to make prices, prices go up for, uh, uh, forever. And, and, and you've probably heard me say this before, but abundance and money creates scarcity everywhere else and scarcity and money creates abundance because what the free market does is goes to solve those problems that are most solvable. Um, instead of, uh, and, and so it uh, doesn't matter whether it's solar fusion, something, uh, something, but we can expect that we, we can expect that human ingenuity will create more and more value in energy all over the place. And Bitcoin specifically actually provides a floor for that energy price, uh, pricing and, and chases low, clean and abundant energy all over the world, moving us to a Kardashian uh, type one planet by creating an economic structure to chase, uh, chase, uh, uh, cheap energy. The only thing that stops that is our monetary system. So that, that should be as we do that and it, it, just do a thought experiment. Let's say we come up with, um, uh, fusion reactors that is, uh, un, uh, uh, that, that you have a com a complete clean renewable energy and it happens, um, tomorrow. Let's just do, I don't know, it's a crazy thought experiment and it's all over the world and you have an abundant energy for free, effectively. Um, what does the existing system do? Because that free brings down prices of every single thing that uses energy, which is everything. Um, and now you have massive deflation and that means the existing financial system re requires way more easing to block that deflation from it, from reaching society. So out of that thought experiment, you can see exactly what's happening. It's being robbed from us through higher prices. Mm -hmm.